Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly add effects to items in Reaper. As you probably already know, we can add effects to tracks right up here, or the input effects over here to record on the way in. But we could also add effects to our items. And we could do it by selecting it to split and create a new item, hit S, put another one over here, select the item, and right click it, go to Take, show Effects Chain for Active Take which brings up our effects, and we can add effects just on that item. So let's say we wanted to add an EQ. Let's add re-EQ. We can see right here, there's an effect just on this item. It's not on here, and it's not on here. We could open it up, and we could tweak it just like this. We could do it even quicker with some keyboard shortcuts. Let's undo all that. Let's again split it to create a separate item, select it, and hit Shift E, which will open up our plugins, and we could add them right here. But let's say there's a situation where you want to add effects with a specific preset, where you have the settings in mind, and you want to quickly add it to each piece of audio you choose. Well, we could do this a lot quicker with custom actions. So let's undo all this. And I should first show you how I choose to split items. By default, we would just click right here and hit S. But we could also do it a bit quicker without selecting the item or moving our edit cursor. Let me show you. Let's go to our actions, show action list, and let's type in split. Now by default, our S key is going to be set up for this action right here. Split items at edit or play cursor. But I chose to put it on this one. Split item under mouse cursor. And I assigned the S key to that. So now I can just put my mouse over here, hit S, and it creates that split without selecting the item or moving the edit cursor, which makes it a bit quicker for this process. Just move it and split where we want. But now let's create a custom action to add an effect with a specific setting. Let's go to our effects by hitting Shift F, which opens up the effects dialog. Let's choose Re-EQ. And again, this is gonna work with any effect we choose. Let's create a setting we wanna use. I'm gonna delete all these bands, except for the first one, which is a high pass, and I'll set it how I want it. Maybe I'm trying to eliminate low end rumble or P pops. Then we'll save this as an effects chain. Just right click over here, effects chains, save selected effects as chain. And we'll give this a name. I'll call it high pass filter and save it. Then we'll double click over here and find the effects chain over here. Right click it and create a shortcut for the effects chain. Now we're not going to keep this keystroke because I'm going to create a custom action, but we need to do this so Reaper sees this as an action. So just create any keyboard shortcut you're not using. And now we'll go to our actions. Go to effects chain, and here's the action we just created. Insert effects chain, high pass filter. And let's delete the keyboard shortcut. But now let's create a custom action that includes this. So we'll hit new, we'll name it high pass filter, and we'll choose over here under mouse. And choose the action, select item under mouse cursor. That's the action we're going to perform first. Then we'll add the other one to insert the effects chain for the high pass filter. Bring this over. Let's give this a keyboard shortcut. 
I'm going to choose Control H. But again, you can use any keyboard shortcut you prefer. So all we have to do, if we want to add that effect to some audio, just split it by hitting S, put a mouse right over here, and hit that keyboard shortcut. And it adds that plugin to the item, and it opens it up right here, where we can tweak it. Or we can leave it alone and just add it very quickly. Hit S twice, hit that keyboard shortcut, and we added that plugin and the setting to this item. Now, if we don't want to open up the plugin each time, we can just turn off a preference. Go to our preferences and scroll down to plugins and turn off auto open effects windows after quick add. And when this is turned off and we do this, it's not going to open up the effects window. But it's still going to apply that effects chain. So it's still right here, and we could open it like this. But it's a lot quicker to just go through your project, adding that effect each time. Now there's another way we could do this using time selection instead. So let's create a different effects chain. Open up the effects. Let's use another EQ. But this time, let's create a notch filter. We could notch out certain problem frequencies. We could save this as an effects chain and just apply it to those items. Right click this, effects chain, save selected effects as chain. We'll give it a name, notch filter. And once again, go to the effects chain and give this a shortcut. And go back to our actions, go to effects chain, and delete the keyboard shortcut for the notch filter and create a custom action for it. Notch filter. And once again, we'll select the item under the mouse right here. But this time, we're going to split items at time selection right over here. So we're going to create a time selection and it's going to split automatically. Then we're going to add the effects chain for our notch filter. And then finally, we're going to remove the time selection right here, as we're not going to need it anymore. So now we had a keyboard shortcut to this custom action we created. I'll use Control N, but again, you can use any keyboard shortcut you prefer. So now, all we have to do is create a time selection like this. Put our mouse anywhere over here, hit that keyboard shortcut, and it added that effect on notch filter to this item. It did the splitting for us, so it saves us even more time. So we can quickly go through and grab items by creating time selections and hitting that keyboard shortcut. And we could tweak it, or if we prefer, it doesn't have to open at all. Go back. To the preferences and just turn off auto open effects windows. Now we can go through and very quickly create time selections, hit that keyboard shortcut, and it adds that notch filter to this item right here. Pretty cool. So you could do it with a time selection, or you could do it by splitting the items first and then hitting it. Either way will work. So that's pretty much it. That's quickly adding effects to items in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.